the natural state of a blood vessel is an intact tunica interna and tunica media, which allows blood to flow to tissues unimpeded. Unfortunately, atherosclerotic plaques can form in the blood vessel wall. Macrophages, uh, which are white blood cells derived from monocytes, and modified smooth muscle cells can uptake large amounts of lipid and remodel the blood vessel wall to allow the formation of a lipid plaque. This lipid plaque begins then to occlude the opening of the blood vessel, the lumen, which then makes it more difficult for blood to flow. This will increase blood pressure if this occurs widespread throughout the body and will make it more difficult for blood to reach the cells which are downstream from the plaque. Eventually, a plaque may occlude the majority of the lumen of the blood vessel. Because the lumen of the blood vessel is now so narrow, a clot which forms elsewhere in the body can now become lodged in this area. This would completely block blood flow to the downstream cells, and they can die because of lack of oxygen. If this occurs in the brain, it is known as a stroke. If this occurs in the heart, it is known as a myocardial infarction or a heart attack. Not only can clots become lodged in the area of the plaque, but if the plaque has swollen to the, re to the extent where the endothelial cells are torn, the plaque may expose collagen, which causes platelets to actually form clots at that spot. So the area which is likely to trap a clot may actually be an area which can form clots. This then is a very dangerous situation because now blood flow to cells throughout the body can be blocked.